Hi everyone, this is Amri. Today I wanted to talk about something that I was asked a lot of times, which is choosing what to do in the art and sometimes when we are getting stuck in something how can we fix it well in this image this is the sketch that i had a vision for which is like an asher-esque kind of art with a lot of stairs and a lot of things with alice and cheshire in the middle now what i did actually is i created the image and it kind of didn't look so great it's it right now it kind of looks like a mess so i wanted to show you when you get to this part how can you fix this well my system is this the first of all i actually asked norman fletchell to create uh, my alice in cheshire for me because it would just be much easier for me and i knew that he he can give me that extra so thanks norm and for the background the first thing that i'm going to do is actually to create my guidelines which is this these are my guidelines i wanted something that is a bit uh insane but at the same time it's kind of beautiful so this is my guideline it takes me about 10 minutes or so to create this perfect guideline so i'll know it more or less how I want my image to go in composition wise and then I start to block in dark and light in my mind that is I know that this part will be dark so this is the darker area now I can even see right now that this light area is in my dark area so I need to somehow make this go away and this is light and this is light it's a problem this is light and this is dark which is good let's do it in green this is dark this is more or less dark here I can just place with some shadow and this is already dark so my problematic areas are these red areas and this is supposed to be let's say light and this is supposed to be light and this is supposed to be light and again my problems are these areas and how can i fix this so the first thing that i did actually is to to create another layer and then i started to work out my ideas that is I blocked out all of the problem problematic areas and then I started to work with it. I know that I want to put header here anyway. So right now I just place the light at the bottom of the stairs and this whole light area just got separated. And to make this area lighter I just put some stairs in and here I broke apart the floor of the chest here I will place some stars because it's Azure it can be insane I'll put some stars and maybe the moon or something and also this this is like a small tiny train that I want to put in the image but the problem is that if you can see it's not in the correct shape uh, of my uh, flow so I'm just going to change it I'm just going to place the same train but in the correct flow shape here I made a bit more light I actually changed the back 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 door because again if you can see it my flow is this so the door should turn that direction and it's actually going in the other direction like that so I need to fix this so I did so basically when you get stuck you can really see clearly the before and after how it's basically small changes but this image is a lot more clearer than this image flow wise look at it very carefully 
You can clearly see areas of light and shadow. You can clearly see the way the image is moving. It works really well, including the edges. This image is more like this. Which is a total mess because there is no flow. It just looks like a lot of shapes thrown in together. But this image has a lot of flow. That's my tip for making images properly after you kind of screw it up. <laughs> so after this part I will just start to render it more and more and more and eventually I will finish and get to the final product. But this is the way that I create the thought process behind this, these things. Without doing these decisions at the beginning, when everything is pretty much a big, big chunk of blur with a lot of stuff thrown in, you won't get to the final proper image because you just, you can't wing it. You need to make it with good shapes and make it really clear on what the audience is supposed to look at. I really hope that this tip helped you. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.
Hey, um, we are right now at the point where I basically added most of the elements that I wanted to add anyway, like the butterflies where I marked them on, and the teacups with the teapot, and I also added header in. Now, the, for the rest of the stuff that I'm going to add here, um, I want to add a lot of nature and I want to add animals. So, the nature is just this scribble scribbles of green, which I will later on edit into some kind of plants. And also, I'm adding animals. I'm actually going to use Norman Fletcher's designs to incorporate inside of this thing. And I think that his designs and also Jen's designs and Joey's designs, I, I think that their designs really fit and I think they're quite beautiful and they also give me a lot of ideas. So I'm going to insert everything that I think can fit into this thing and I think that the stones here will fit much better inside of the domino holes and according to like if I have this kind of um, stone just thrown in on the floor, I can always add like uh, interesting plants around it and give it some kind of color so it will color up the area of the element. It can be quite beautiful. But again, that's something that I'm going to do later. So, um, as for decisions, I just played around with the composition that I already created. If you can remember, the composition that I wanted earlier was this, more or less. So I kind of kept that as much as I could. After again looking at it, I noticed that this part is kind of too bland. And it's just like, there's nothing really going on here. So I'm going to change this a bit. I think I will put Humpty Dumpty here, upside down. I think it will fit very nicely. And so, uh, this guard needs a sidekick here or something, I, I don't know. And also more stuff in the domino and maybe some tiny bugs here and a bit more of um, butterflies or something else like a butterfly here I just need to I need to break apart this line this line is no good again straight lines in images like that like this one is is a dead zone this area is a dead zone so to live this to spice this up you need to add another shape when you add another shape suddenly it doesn't look as boring when you cancel this and you cancel this out it just looks a lot less boring so what I usually do is just I go I create the details and then I go in again and then I create details and go again with all the flowers and leaves and stuff that I'll insert in that's something that I'm I'm doing again like in layers I think about what fits what so I'm going to continue this, and then I'll show you again about my choices.
everything is rendered out. Everything is fleshed out. Now I'm going to create a separation between the characters, which is basically like a fo foggy background and a light that will go around their bodies and I will render them out and after I will do that I will add the colors of the kaleidoscope so it's it's kind of complex but slowly and surely I will create everything properly so this is my process I hope that you enjoyed it and it's just a lot of small rendering and as you can see so 